just a little bit oversized, so obviously you're going to have enough material to uh, get your rivets in. Take the gilbos and cut out that shape. So I've cut out the uh, triangular section from the larger piece that I had. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to start to bend it into shape. Before you start bending it, I would just uh, add that uh, just take your file and file off all any sharp edges or anything that you're going to have. So you can see the outline shape that you want. So you just start bending your angle around. Keep just manipulating the angle. It's quite easy, it's really easy to bend this material. And you also want on the bottom edge that's going to come in here, you want a nice rounded edge to make it into a nice webbing like that. Can you, can you get that as that on? Make it a nice rounded swoop. Just keep trying it into position until you've got a nice good fit. Once you've got it fairly close to what you really want. Now obviously what you're going to want is about six to seven millimetres of material that's going to lap over to give you enough material to get your rivets into. That's why we've made the angle slightly oversized and that's looking quite good. So then, the first stage is, is you're going to put a hole right in the apex of that angle there. As close as you can to the top, just enough to get a 3.5mm drill in, so you can get a rivet, your first rivet, into the scuttle. So, just do that.
together. Right, just the first hole. So I'm going to use the uh, 3.2 by 12 mm rivets. No, I'm going to use a hand rivets for this one. So hold your bracket in position. Pull it in line. Use shorter rivets and stated. You can manipulate this as you're going down. So the best idea to uh, start with is once you've got a nice tight fit on one edge, you just start pulling down with your drill. You can find your drill. I should say about every inch, maybe inch and a half, you're going to run down nice and carefully. Measure the distance of these holes precisely so it looks neat and do the exact same procedure on both sides. All the time making sure that you're, you're not running out of position because you do need that material to uh, line up to. Concentrate on one side first. See drilling through this because it is easy to snap your drills and run out of line or whatever, so just be careful as you go in.
got one side secure, what you can do now is you can just push the other side round as you go and it's always going to fit. That'll give you a shape. Make sure you aren't uh, pulling it too far out of line here, keeping that parallel. And then you can start coming down the other side, do exactly the same process. That's as far down as we've got to go. As you can see, we could get another skirt, uh, sorry, another rivet in at the bottom, but at this stage, we don't want to be going into the body side as you need it. You may need to be able to remove this scuttle. But once you're satisfied that everything's okay, you've tried your engine in, your prop shafts, everything suits, then you can finish riveting that off. And you're going to repeat this exact same process on the other side. Just exactly as I've just shown you.